So working on the flight again, taking the prototype of the paddle style and modifying a little bit, trying to make a template out of um, some thinner hardboard. Um, I'll make a template out of this and then I'll be able to rough cut it and then use some double-sided tape and run it through the router. I'll get this router bit. I picked up this router bit the other day. It's a Freud. That should work pretty good. It's a Helix style, so I think I'll get a pretty good cut out of that. But I'm out then over here into the little router table and we'll see how how that works. Well, we just made a few modifications, tapering off the handle a little bit in the end here, just kind of making a swooping curve there instead of having just a rounded end, more of a, a fishtail kind of, and then not having such a strong curve at this end and at this end, making just a lot, um, a lot more gradual than it was. That doesn't, that's not very appealing. So this end wasn't so bad, but I think it's going to look a lot better the way we have it here. So we'll uh, get this cut out with saw, jigsaw, and then I'll bring it on to the sander to sneak up to the pencil lines, get it as exact as we can, and we'll go from there. So I've got the template all cut out and I've used some double-sided tape to go ahead and tape this down to the, the board that I'd like to cut out. And I'm going to use a flush bit. Let's see, we'll use this one that I picked up and we'll put it into the little router that I've got kind of set into the side of my table saw here. The, uh, the one wing here works out great for a little router table. So let's go ahead and put that bit into this one. Make sure the unit's unplugged. Ok, 
Okay, so now I've got to adjust the height so my bearing will run right along the hardboard. So this was my first time using a pattern and a router bit in this manner. I've done countertops where I've done it the other way, trimming laminate off. And you've got a lot of, you got usually a three quarter inch particle board that you're running the bearing up against. But in this case, I had such a thin with my pattern that I couldn't get trimmed all the way up. So now I'm just going to have to use this, the bulk of this meat here for my pattern to get this other little ridge off. Got the same thing on the rest of it too, just a little bit of a ridge that I'll have to nip off. So I've adjusted the bit accordingly and I'll go ahead and, uh, and I'll go ahead and cut that off. Everything sanded up here and then we'll see what uh, I was trying to leave this kind of a natural edge but came around the corner a little bit so I think I'll just end up sanding that a little bit I'll sand this edge should turn out pretty decent but there's the cut off of the pattern I had just a little bit of fine-tuning to do the pattern wasn't exactly a mirror image both ways um, I did the best I could but I was off a little bit so Flipped it over and I've got, um, it's much, much closer now. I noticed when I had pulled it off of the router that these weren't exactly mirror images of each other, but now they're, um, now they are much closer. I can hit this with the sander and drill my holes for the glasses and should be looking pretty good. So I divided out the cup spacing just by using a cup on the, on the board and I used a compass to get the critical spacing between them. I just drew a center line down the middle of the board and then I got the compass to get my center marks from center to center and then swung an arc on each one and that's how I got the equal spacing for each one and then I loaded the Forstner bit up into the, into the little drill press that I have here and then just made sure that I stopped. It's probably about 3 sixteenths, I'm guessing, the depth that I went. Um, just enough to hold the, the glasses in there nice and they're, they're pretty snug. So that's that. this finished up. So I kind of left out a few bits of the process, but went ahead and painted around the edge and then gave a dark stain on the wood. And then those are the glasses and a little black spot underneath. It turned out really sharp how the uh, using the Forstner bit to drill those out. So that wraps up the beer flight and thank you for watching.